Okay, so in this problem we're told determine the vector a minus c given the vectors a and c in this figure. So we're given this graph here with a bunch of different vectors on it. So we have uh, b right here, we have a, and then we also have c. Uh, keep in mind though, for this one, what we're finding is a minus c. So we're basically subtracting c from vector a. And so whenever you add or subtract vectors, in order to do that, you have to first get them into their components. So uh, we're only dealing with A and C here, so we can kind of just imagine B isn't there. Uh, but we need to find the X and Y components of A and B. So uh, when I'm referring to the X, I'm basically referring to this axis here. And then for the Y is going to be this axis. Uh, so essentially what we need to find is AX, AY, and sorry about that notification, I don't know how to get rid of it. Uh, but we have CX and then CY. And essentially, the way it works is when you're subtracting or adding vectors, you can't just leave them. I can't just do 44 minus 31. I have to split them into their X and Y first. And then you subtract those components, uh, and then you basically just combine it back to get your answer. Um, but yeah, so we know that A is this right here, 44 uh, at an angle of 28. So how do we find the x component and the y component of that? So when I'm referring to x, x is basically along this way, right? And then the y would be along this way. So the way I like to draw it is like this. We have x and y. So we want to find the x component and y component, where this is the y because it's in the y direction, and the x is in this x direction. So how do we find that? So uh, I like to just redraw the triangle here. So you can imagine this triangle is this one right here. I'm just redrawing it, where uh, the hypotenuse here is 44, uh, the angle is 28 degrees, and then just relabeling your x and y. Um, but yeah, so how do we solve for the x here now? So uh, you just want to treat it as a trick problem, where uh, for x, you're going to use cosine. So uh, you should know the cosine of an angle. In this case, we're dealing with 28 degrees. Cosine is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse side. So, so Katoa. So our adjacent side is x. Our hypotenuse is 44. Uh, therefore, x equals 44 cosine of 28. That would be the x component of your uh, a vector right there. Uh, keep in mind, though, when you lab label it, you want to label it based on its direction. So uh, generally, the way you do it is if it goes to the right it's positive left is negative and then in terms of up and down uh, you like to label up positive and down negative so this is your x component uh, but notice the direction it's pointing you just follow along the direction the vector points so the x would be in the positive x direction so your a of x would just be positive this value keep in mind if it was pointing the other direction it would be negative though so this is just 44 cosine of 28. Now for the y component, uh, you basically just do the same thing you did here, but with sine. So uh, you should know the sine of an angle is opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case, our opposite side is y, and our hypotenuse is 44. Uh, multiplying both sides to get y by itself, and you get y. So 44 sine of 28 is your y, uh, your y component of, of your uh, a, a vector. So 44 sine of 28. Uh, notice that uh, right, we just use trig to get these. Uh, and then it's also pointing upwards. So as I said before, upwards is positive. So we can just leave it like that. Now we want to find CX and CY. Um, in order to find CX, uh, what you should notice, though, is that this is only pointing in the Y direction, unlike this one, which pointed in between like this. Therefore, it had an X and Y component. Uh, this one actually doesn't have an x component since it's only pointing along the y this value is just its y component so cx in this case is really just zero and then you have cy which is just straight along here right so our y is already there uh, but notice it's pointing down unlike these which were to the right and up they were positive uh, this one's down therefore cy would just be negative 31. Uh, and so we have that and then they're wanting us to basically find a minus c. So you want to subtract the x components and then subtract the y components. So you have to deal with them separately, and then you can combine them later. Um, so starting with the x components, 
we have a sub x, right, 44 cos of 28. Actually, we'll just say, okay, so you can imagine uh, vector a minus c, we'll just call it vector v. So you could say the v sub x, or the x component of vector v, which is equal to this, is 44 cosine of 28, which is a sub x minus c sub x. So this is just zero though, so really it's just 44 cosine of 28. Um, and then for the y, v sub y, it's going to be equal to 44 sine of 28. Uh, and then you're minusing a negative number, so minus minus 31. So that would be plus. Uh, I'm going to calculate what this is. So 44 sine of 28 plus 31, you would get 51.66. Uh, and then let me check out what 44 cosine of 28 is 38.85. And so another thing that I didn't really teach you guys, because I think this is just the basics of vectors. Uh, generally, when you write x components, you do it with a unit vector next to it. So you would really say the x component a sub x is 44 cosine of 28 i hat, where i hat is for the x and j hat is for the y. Um, basically just signifies that this is in the x. So when you add up the components, you can distinguish which ones are from which. So this would be j hat, this would be i hat, this would be j hat. So this would be i hat, uh, and then this would be j hat. So they don't tell us um, which form they want it in, but if you wanted to say a minus c, and you want to write it, uh, wanted to write it in its component form, you would just uh, now just add up their components. So Right, you just have, well, this is the x component of v, this is the y component of v, therefore uh, v in its component form is just them added up like this. And then you just, you know, you're able to distinguish the direction based off the unit vector. So I know it's 38.85 uh, in the x, and then in the y, it's 51.66. So uh, if you added these up, it would be something like this, pointing in this direction, right, because they're both positive. Uh, but yeah, so... Um, I don't believe, they don't tell us which uh, direction they want us to put it in, but this would be your, or not which direction they want us to put it in, if they want it in its magnitude form or its uh, component form. Uh, this would be its component form, so A minus C, right, because keep in mind that's what this equals, is this right here. Um, I'm actually going to find its magnitude, so the way you find its magnitude, we could just say vector V equals you just take the square root of its x components and its y components. Um, but yeah, so its x component is that, its y component is that. So you just square each of the values and then add them up in square root. Let me go ahead and do that. So 38.85 squared plus 51.66 squared. Uh, and then just square root that. So yeah, you'll get the magnitude for v is 64.63 or 64 we'll say so that's his magnitude i don't believe they have units yeah there's no units given so 64.64 uh, and then you can find the direction too so uh, the direction for this theta you just do the arc tangent of its y component over its x component in this case it's 51.66 divided by 38 0.85. So we have the arc tangent of 51.66 divided by 38.85, which you get 53 degrees. And so basically, this is its magnitude. So if we were to redraw it on the graph, so that's angle 53 degrees. Uh, let me get a different color here. Uh, let's go with pink, I guess. Um, so it would be something like this. Right, because we know the angle is 53 degrees, so it's not perfect, or 53, yeah, 53 degrees, uh, and then its magnitude was this value right here, so 64.64. So that's what uh, this vector a minus c uh, would be equal to on the graph. Uh, this would be its component form, so 38.85 in that direction, and then 51.66 upwards. 
Uh, but yeah, so they didn't actually say how they wanted you to write it, but there's it on the graph, there's it in its component form, and then this would be its magnitude, and then the direction is right here. So you would say 53 degrees uh, above the horizontal, right, in the X and Y positive. Uh, but yeah, so uh, that's going to be your answers, and uh, hopefully you found this video useful.